She doesn't just look like me. She looks exactly like me. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I know why you guys were all so freaked out. I'm sorry. That was the message, Rocky. Dr. Santana to maternity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, you know, I've heard that everyone has a double somewhere in this world. This girl must be mine. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. So she was a friend of yours, right? Like somebody close to you? I loved her. Shut up and she was just laying here. Libby! Where were you? Where were you? It's okay. Come on. We've all been looking for you. What happened to... Where am I? Well, what did you tell us, Libby? How did you get here? Huh? And who brought you? Looks like you have some things you want to talk about. Um, I have to check on a patient. I'll catch you later. Okay. okay, who is this girl? Did she grow up here? I didn't know her very long. You said you loved her, right? You loved her? You have to know something. Casey had a rough life. She grew up in a bunch of foster homes. Each one worse than the last. She was always running away. Living on the streets. For a minute. Then. Then. Then what? She died. Oh. I'm sorry. That's why seeing you here, it's like... It's like she's back again, you know what I mean? It's like she's back among the living again. You know, I know this must be really freaky for you. Believe me, it's the same for me, but, um... You know that woman you were with? Your girlfriend, maybe? Uh, she didn't look too happy, so maybe you might want to go after her and make sure she's okay. Dr. Yeah. Dr. Matt Alafetich to the pharmacy. It's okay, Chris. You can sit next to me. I won't let you go. I've been meaning to call you. Hey. Dorian, just because I told you I wanted to take a break doesn't mean we're never going to see each other again. I mean, it just means that... Oh, let me see if I can remember the words correctly. <laughs> Well, how can I forget? I was getting too clingy. My mother always told me, don't give away the milk if you expect them to buy the cow. <laughs> I don't follow. It's sex, Ramsey, sex. Remember the elevator? Remember me hanging from the oh, chandelier? Yeah, I'm not likely to forget. Well, if you're interested, I don't do things like that with men I barely know. But for some reason, I was so into you, so hot for you, that it didn't matter, and I didn't care. Obviously, that was all one-sided. No, no, it wasn't one-sided. Not at all. I mean, I, I, I loved being with you, making love with you, getting wild with you. It was great. Just not really ready for the... 24-7 relationship thing, and that's where I saw that it was going. And just because I wanted to slow things down didn't mean I wanted to, to end completely. And for what it's worth, I, I really was going to call you. When? 
I don't know, soon. Thanks for the light. After the weekend I'm having, I'll take it. Uh, why, with what's going on? <laughs> well, this vigilante running around with the black hood, mm -hmm. beating the crap out of people, well, the chief would kind of like us to find him, but we don't have clue one, so he's sort of making our lives miserable at the moment. Well, why are you looking so hard for him? As far as I'm concerned, he's performing a community service. All right. Drink up, Irish for you, bourbon for me. There you go. For once, you won't get an argument from me. Cheers. What's this? I don't want, it, it's not very good, but it's what I saw. You didn't see a face, or you don't know how to draw one? No, I didn't see one. It's wearing that hood. You look strange. What? I wasn't frightened. I mean, the landlord, yeah, he scared me, but I don't know, this thing, it, it's gonna sound strange, but it had a sense of dignity to it. It's dignity? Mm. I'm glad we started drinking. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I wish I would have asked it some questions. <sighs> okay, slow down a minute here. Maybe you weren't scared, but we still don't know what this is, what it's all about. Well, it seems to be all about beating up the bad guys. I mean, the, the punishment fits the crime. What does that mean? The wife beater gets beaten up. The, the, the gangsters are humiliated. And the landlord's forced to live in an own lot and building it. There's a method to the madness. Maybe so. But we don't know how far this thing's gonna go. Who it may be. I still don't understand why you thought I was dragged off. We found a piece of your nightgown on the branch, so it looked like you were dragged off into the woods. Yeah, and there weren't any footprints. So you either flew away or someone carried you away and covered their tracks. Stay away from me! Please don't touch me! Don't touch me! No! No, nobody... nobody dragged me anywhere. Well, sure looked that way. Well, it wasn't anything like that. Well, why don't you tell us what happened? This is none of your business. It's between me and my husband. Well, they, they were just trying to help me find you. You left me at the motel, Rafe. You said you were coming back, and you didn't. I was scared. I didn't know what to do, so I went out looking for you, and then I got lost, and, and I thought you were never coming back, and, and I thought you were going to leave me and the baby, and so I, I, I said, the hell with you, and I started running back, and when, and when I did, I, I somehow caught my, my foot on, on some tree limbs, and, and then I fell, and then I lost my shoe, and then when I went down to get it, I bumped my head. Honey, I bumped... I bumped my head, and that's, I must have fell out. That's a nice, nice story. Yeah, I don't remember anything. Just you. Okay. Just you being here. All right, all right, all right. Let, me, let me see your head. No, honey, I'm fine. I, I I'm fine. You. I gotta get you to No, 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 no. I, I, I just want to no, go home. You've been out here all I night. Go. I want to make sure you and the baby are okay. No, I'm all right. Oh, Livy, right. why don't you want to go to the hospital? Why don't you want to make sure this baby's all right? That's it. Oh. You're going to the hospital, okay? No, no more arguments. No. All right. No. Okay. I don't know, Jack. Seems a little too real to me. Well, we both know Livy. She can make anything seem real. Come on. I'm sorry. For what? I didn't expect Casey's double staring back at me. Yeah, I know. It's like looking at a ghost. You know, you don't have to explain yourself, Ricky. I saw it in your eyes. You lit up like a Christmas tree Dr. when you Martin saw her. How come you didn't tell him you had a twin? <laughs> because she's dead, Jamal, okay? She died at yeah. birth, okay? It's like I told Ricky. You know, it's just one of those weird coincidence things. God, it does look like she could be my twin sister, doesn't it? So you believe that this guy is some kind of hero? Well, oh, sure. Who's he hurt so far? <laughs> a guy who likes to play bongos on his wife's head and a couple punks in the park who hassled Mary Collins. Uh -huh. For now. What's that supposed to mean? Do you know who I think this guy is? Some guy who couldn't hack the police academy. So he's running around getting his little fix by playing cops and robbers on the street. Is that your psychological profile? As a matter of fact, it is. 
But you've had no luck tracking down this poor soul, man. Right? You may think this is some kind of a joke, Chris, but eventually this clown is gonna knock around someone who isn't a bad guy or eventually kill someone. And I don't want that on my street. Okay, well, you wanna know what I think? <laughs> okay, what do you think? I think the cops feel threatened because this guy is doing your job. Well, I haven't lived in Fort Charles as long as you have, but I know the stuff with Allison and the candles and Rebecca stepping in and out of portraits and Kevin living in the magical forest. Well, I'm beginning to understand when you said that Fort Charles is a place where anything can happen. So I probably shouldn't even ask, but is there anything else I should know about? Well, let's see, you know about the angels, right? And, um, did I, did I tell you about the vampires? <laughs> oh, no, I'm serious. You're not serious. Yeah, no. Vampires? Um, this is probably not the right time to start this conversation, so we'll do it some other time. I'm gonna go to New York, talk to a friend of mine who hopefully can help me with this shadow friend of yours. Well, what's your best guess? <sighs> I don't really have one at the moment. I think you do. Oh, come on, Ian. You don't think it's human, do you? Checking this blood is not gonna hurt her because she's pregnant, is it? Mm, not at all. Look, I really don't need to be here. I'm fine. I just want to go home now. Don't worry. You checked out okay, and I'm sure your baby's gonna be all right, too, okay? You hang in there. I'll be back soon with your test results. Take Miss Scovich's blood to be processed stat. I need to see if this is still a viable pregnancy. <laughs> so let me get this straight. You're saying that the cops are threatened by the psycho. Okay. Um, there's a lot of competition, especially lately, but that's one of the dumber things that you've ever said. No, I don't I don't think it is. See, I think this guy should be commended for his actions, not hounded like some criminal. He's just seeking a little justice. And is this your psychological profile? He does all the work the cops can't seem to get to. He dispenses punishment that the courts just can't deliver because they're hindered by one technicality or another. You don't happen to own a black cape, do you, Ramsey? What if I did? I'd slap a pair of handcuffs on you so fast it'd make your head spin. Mm. She sounds pretty good. You know, I'm off in a couple hours. Well, I'm not. And even if I were, the answer is a big negatory. Okay. Well, at least I asked, right? <laughs> Noted. Okay, well, good luck uh, finding this guy. We will find him. And when we do, we will put him in jail. Because that's where he belongs. Good luck, sweetheart. I think this guy has one too many tricks for you. Brennan? Hey, honey, it's me. Guess what? I I'm gonna be coming to New York for a few days. Yeah, just a short visit, but I miss you. I can't wait to be home with you. Why don't I make reservations at Salini's? Our special place, we'll have a special dinner. I miss you, and uh, I love you. You okay? Uh, yeah. Who would think that Manhattan would be the safe alternative to life in Fort Charles? The devil you know, right? Under the circumstances, yeah. So, you're heading to New York for a while? Just a few days. Okay, how are you getting down there? Train, I guess. Why don't you drive with me? I'm going down and I'll swing with you right. What do you say? Thanks, but, you know, I think I'm just going to stick with the train. I can get some work done that way. Okay. Bye. No. I don't believe you're human. Like a Christmas tree? Trust me. Karen, whatever you think you saw, well, it was because... I saw Marissa, 
It was like Casey all over again, but it wasn't. You know, you don't have to explain anything to me. I understand. Karen, you know I used to be in love with Casey, just like you used to be in love with Frank. Yeah, we both came into this with some history. Hey, did I ever tell you I used to be in love with my fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Hughes? Man, she was some woman. Ricky, you don't have to do this. Uh, I know it wasn't easy for you seeing somebody that reminded you of Casey. You don't have to pretend like it didn't bother you. Thanks. But Casey's my past. You and me, we're right here, right now. And speaking of right here, right now, if we don't get out of here and get to packing, we're never going to make it to New York, all right? Code blue, sixth floor east. All right, one more question. No more questions, okay? I am tired of everyone's questions. Okay, I'm starting to feel like I did something wrong here, and all I did was show up on a story. <sighs> okay. Okay, what? Okay, um, you and Casey, do you think it's possible? It's possible that maybe... No. Maybe... Look, you said you had a twin. Who died when we were born. Okay, watch my lips, Jamal. No way... Casey is my sister. Okay, my parents, I know them. They would never lie to me about something like that. Okay. They would never have made me live with the lie that my sister was dead if she wasn't really dead. All right, I got it, tight. okay? And we're tied. Okay, especially my mom and I. We tell each other practically everything. Look, message delivered, received, over and out. Fine. Okay. Look, it must have been some kind of coincidence or something. Right. 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 I'll catch you later, all right? Hey, Mom. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Yeah, still here in Port Charles, same story. Um, I needed to talk to you. No, 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 it's not about this story. Dr. It's about Cushel something else. Remember when I was waiting to find out if I was going to jail for murdering them? Yeah. This is worse. I know what you mean. Hey, how are you feeling? How are you doing with all this? Let's just say this isn't easy for either one of us. Right, I'm sorry. What do you think's going on in there? You want to know what I really think? Yeah, I want to know what you really think. I think in a few minutes, Ray's going to find out this whole pregnancy is a big sham. And he's going to dump Libby, and you two are going to live happily ever after. Do you really think that that's going to happen? Or are you just trying to make me feel better? No, no, Allison, I'm serious. And you want to know what I think's going to happen next? Yeah. Well, I think Libby's going to do what she always does and run away for a few days. And then she's going to make her way back to me. Oh, right. Like that would actually happen, right? Jack. Okay, look, I don't know if it would or it wouldn't, but look, I know I just can't hang out here and wait like this. I, just, I know, I, gotta... I know. Okay, you just go. You just do what you have to do. But I really want you to live happily ever after. When you say it like that, it makes me think that it could actually happen. Cool. Yeah. Dr. Campbell, physical therapy. Mm -hmm. Dr. Gray, mm -hmm. Dr. Campbell, physical therapy. Mr. and Mrs. Kovich, I have great news. All your tests are normal. Our baby's okay. Oh, your baby is more than okay. It appears to be thriving, Mrs. Kovic.
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Torn. On the next Port Charles. Libby is pregnant. She's carrying Rafe's child. She's not lying. You don't want this baby, right? I mean, you don't want either one of us. Isn't that the truth? Keep up with all your favorite soaps. Log on to SoapNet.com to chat with the stars, check out our message boards, and to find your SoapNet schedule. SoapNet. Soap watching made easy.